is how the audio sounds like when I shot this video. And this is how the audio sounds like when I used an AI tool to enhance the audio. Today we are diving into the wonderful world of leveling up your content creation game with some mind-blowing AI tools. 2024 is here and as the year begins, it's the wish of so many people to kickstart their YouTube journey. But the big elephant in the room is how do I get started? How do I come up with ideas to make videos about? I have no knowledge on how to edit videos. I don't have a nice room or how to get a good background. I'm not going to talk about cameras because I will assume everyone knows our smartphone these days has the best of inbuilt cameras in them. But wait, could there be someone who doesn't know that our smartphone cameras these days can be as equally good as the regular cameras. Hmm. Okay, alright, so basically what I'm just trying to get across is that it doesn't matter which gadget you have, you can still do so well with your videos using just your phone. If you just want to know how to achieve a kind of background like what you see around me, you can skip to this timestamp. But before that, you might want to know how I was able to make my audio sound this better without having to use any microphone or my camera. So stick with me for the entire video to learn how you can also learn up your video even if you don't have any equipment or knowledge in editing but before we get started i would like you to support this channel by giving this video a like it means so much to me that's certainly your way of encouraging me to keep making videos of this kind so the first ai tool we are going to use to help us generate video ideas is none other but chat gpt i've done an in-depth tutorial on how to use chat gpt in my previous videos i will leave a link to that video Video in the description of this video for you to check it out if you haven't seen it so let's say you want to start a cooking channel and you want to have topics of video ideas that you would want to make videos about chat gpt is the best place to look out so there you go these are 20 cooking video ideas that you can make your videos about so if you shoot all these 20 ideas and you intend to post one video for a week, you would have videos to consistently post for like 5 months. The next place to look out for video ideas for your cooking channel is YouTube itself. So just open up YouTube and head over to the search bar and type any video idea that comes to mind. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to type how to make continental jello. So as you can see, I haven't even finished typing and YouTube has already suggested it to me. So what it means is that if I make a video on this topic, it's going to get a lot of views because other people are also searching for this same topic to learn a thing or two about it. All right, the second tool we are going to look at is CapCut. So after you have finished shooting your video, the next thing you want to do is to edit your video. And to edit our video, we are going to use CapCut. CapCut is a free video editing software that works perfectly on both Windows and I am recommending CapCut because comparing it to other video editing softwares, it is free. So the next thing you'd want to do is to come and click on new project. So when it opens, this is how the editing interface of the software looks like. So this is your project area where you would have to import your footages. This includes videos, audios, or pictures. And this is your source monitor where you've seen the project you are editing. And when you come down to this section, this is your timeline. So that is where you would drag down your videos, pictures, or even produce to edit i wanted to talk about this playhead here this thin line you see here but because i haven't imported my footages onto the timeline it is grayed out and we also have here your resource area where you have adjustment filters transitions effects stickers text audio and even all your media so basically these are just the few things you should know to kickstart your editing journey using CapCut. so you first of all have to come and click on this import to import the footages you would want to edit and navigate to the folder where you have the footages so once you import your footages you are ready to start editing make sure to add any other resource files you would want to use this could be pictures music or anything you want to add up to the edit but for the purpose of this video we are just going to go in for a basic chopping head edit so once the folder is imported you just click on it to open and then you just drag one of the videos 
and come to the timeline here and drop it so the whole editing process is just going through the video and seeing which parts you should take off and which parts you should keep and then also you'll be taking off the long pauses and then the breaks in your video okay so for your entire edit process you need to bear in mind that you will only need to use three or two of these tools here but most importantly you might end up having to use only the select tool and then the delete tool for the delete left and the delete right tool you can use the delete button on your keyboard i'll just um, play and listen to it whilst it is okay for me i split it then um i move it to where it ends and i split that and then use the delete button on your keyboard and it takes it off okay and that's just what the entire edit process looks like it's just basically repeating the same step throughout the video and then um, at the end you will get a free flowing video feel free to let me know in the comments if i should make a dedicated video on how to edit on tapcat so now that you have finished editing your video by cutting out the unwanted parts in the video you are now going to have a free flowing video without any mistakes or pauses so the next thing we'd want to do is to color grade your video color grading is a way of enhancing your video quality this makes your video look so pleasing to anyone that is watching to do that tapcat already has some inbuilt filters in them so just come and click on filters scroll to Take any filter that you like and then you just make some few adjustments to suit your preference. I'll just drag it and put it on top of the video. Now I'll just expand it. I don't want this tutorial to be a long video so I'll just reduce the intensity of the filter. And then come over to the adjustment here to perform some basic adjustments. This includes brightness, contrast, highlight, shadows, and the rest. So I'll just quickly run these adjustments so that we move to the next step. I am also clicking on the video and performing the same adjustments on the video. So I'm just going to drag the filter to cover the entire length of the video. This is how the audio sounds like when I shot this video. And this is how the audio sounds like when I used an AI tool to enhance the audio. So Adobe Podcast Enhancer is an AI tool that enhances your trash audio to something that sounds like your audio is being recorded in a professional studio. If you're a small content creator that is just starting up and you do not have money to buy expensive microphones yet, Adobe Podcast Enhancer is the best alternative so what you do is that you extract your audio from the video you edited and drag the audio on here so you just wait a bit and you can see the AI tool has begun enhancing the audio so once the AI tool has finished doing the job so I just go ahead and click on the download button so this background setup you see around me is not real it is fake this is how the background actually looked like when i shot the entire video to achieve this same results head over to google and look up adobe firefly all right if you are finding value so far support this channel by subscribing to it to join our amazing community of subscribers and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our weekly uploads if you have just subscribed leave a comment saying you have subscribed and i'll reply you with a special message welcoming you to our amazing community of subscribers adobe firefly has a lot of features but we are only going to concentrate on the generative field feature so we just click on this and then you come back to CapCut, extract a still image from your video after you have finished performing your color correction come to the top here to click on these three horizontal lines then you scroll down to export still frame Make sure you save it into a folder where you can easily have access to it. So once the still frame is taken, that is what we are going to use to create a background for our video in Adobe Firefly. So we'll come and upload the still image here. So once the still image is uploaded in Adobe Firefly, you just come and click on this add button here. Paint on all the part that you would want to add the creative element. Here you have to be mindful of the specific areas you paint. Because if there's too much movement in the video, you would have the background to start. 
crafted so once you finish painting you just come and type down here what the creative element you would want the ai to generate for you at this point you really have to be specific so that it can give you the best of results also at this point feel free to run wild with your creativity click on generate to see what the ai tool generates for you so once it's finished generating it's going to give you quite a number of options to choose from our first of all we want to bring down the generated image onto the timeline then the next thing is i would bring the video we edited on top of the image then let me zoom out a bit okay so you realize that the video is longer than the image so i'm just going to expand the length of the image to match up with the video all right so this this is good okay so the next thing i would want to do is to tap on the video and then come to this mask option then i'll click on this rectangle to add a rectangular mask on the video okay so once you do that then just expand it a little okay let's expand the mask a little okay i think this is okay and then there you have it so the next thing i would want to do is to increase the feather a little bit so that it can blend in just going to increase the feather a little bit for it to blend in. All right, so that is it to changing the background. So once you are done working on your video and it's ready to be uploaded onto YouTube, the last hurdle is to create a thumbnail for your video. Canva is the best tool, especially if you don't know how to use Photoshop. For me, I use Canva a lot, especially when it comes to creating my thumbnails. This platform has a paid version, but if you are just starting and you don't have money for the paid plan, the free version will do just fine. So you just start by clicking on create a design then you look out for YouTube thumbnail in the drop down menu here once it opens you are going to find a lot of templates here for you to choose from so for me I usually will look out for a template design that is really nice and also has a text that can really catch people attention and once I find one I'll just click on it and then take out what I would want to take out and then I would come and upload the image I would want to use and then change the text to what I would want I usually would want my text to be bold that anyone can easily read so with this inscription i'm pretty sure it will catch someone's attention and basically that is what you should always have at the back of your mind whilst designing your thumbnail with these ai tools you certainly do no longer have any reason not to kick start your youtube channel in 2024 and if you want to make videos of amazing kid stories click on this video also feel free to let me know what you were making videos about in the comments thank you for watching see you in the next one